to Python. And we command you now to let loose and let God's people go. In Jesus' name, we speak the blood right now over every situation. And we call it done in Jesus' name. No more shackles. No more chains. Let my voice run and sing and praise the living King. Come to me, said the Lord, and lift your voice. Do not declare that your situation is one because I am bigger than your situation. So I say to you this day, let the shackles fall, let the chains break, and let my children come and come and dance with me and dance with the King. So I say to you this day, step from where you are and come and dance with me. Step from where you are, come and sing with me. Step from where you are, come and be free inside of me. Now that was a word for the Lord. Now I'm going to ask you right now. This is a house of freedom. It's a house of praise. It's a house to dance, shout, sing. We're going to sing that song again. Because some of you raised your hand. This is your opportunity to kind of move from that seat you're glued to. You know, every Sunday you come in and you sit in the same seat. And you said so much, you got that butt impression on that seat. God wants you to wide it out a little bit. God wants you to wide it out a little bit. Spread it a little bit. Why? Because God doesn't want you to be seated. God wants you to be praising. Bro, come here, brother. Minister Jacob, come here. Come here, Minister Jacob. Now, Minister Jacob, come here. Now, if anybody can dance... I just see Minister Jacob over here on the corner. I just seen him, man. It looked like he'd been watching YouTube videos. <laughs> now, if, if my minister here can dance, you can dance. You can sing, you can praise. Hey, man, you can sing and you can praise. You know, guys, understand this. I've been through some dark days in the last 92 days and nobody knows anything about them. And you never will know. Because I went to the Lord and I stayed in His presence. And in His presence there is fullness of joy. And inside of that joy there is victory and there is freedom. The moment you step out of His presence, you step into doubt, confusion, oppression, depression, and lack. I refuse to live in doubt. I refuse to live in, I refuse to live in depression. I refuse to live in lack. I refuse to live any way that God has not ordained for me to live. Amen. Show them that dance again. Show them the dance again. Come on. No more shackles, no, no more, more chains. chains, no, no more, more bondage. I challenge you this morning to break out of your flesh and really embrace the spirit man that God's called you to be. No more so when you get to heaven, no there is no going to be no, no praising. We're going to have our hands up. We're going to be before the throne of God. We're going to be shouting. So right now, I'm going to ask you to move from where you're seated. Don't be constricted. But begin to end. And begin to give God glory. Praise. See, one of the most biblical things that we have is our dance and our praise. And Satan's perverted. But I'm telling you now, we're going to bring it to the house and we're going to get sanctified. Come on, if your brother Jacob's ready. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. right now I want you to take your hands and do this and if you can touch somebody you need to spread down if you can touch somebody you need to spread down see look at this you've already jumped in the river you didn't even know it you've already jumped in the river didn't even know it I'm a worshiper I'm a worshiper I'm a worshiper of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and his name is Jesus. Nobody will take that from me. Nobody will.
nobody will silence me because I'm a worshiper. Hallelujah. I'm a worshiper. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. Okay, keep it right there. I need another man to come help me worship. I want another man to come help me worship. Give me a, give me a man, a worshiper. Come on. We're going to lead the way this morning, women. We're going to give y'all a break. <laughs> No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. Come on, show that you're free. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Lord Father, we come right now and we give you our praise. Lord Father, we thank you, Lord, right now that we're not coming to praise man, we're coming to praise you. And Father, no matter what we face inside of our life, we're going to come in your presence with singing, we're going to come in your presence with joy, we're going to come in your presence lifting up our hands, because we are not fighting from a position of defeat, we are fighting from a position of victory. So Lord, we honor you this morning, we honor you this morning, we honor you this morning. And we declare your glory over this place. We declare your freedom over this place. We declare the blood of Jesus over this place. There'll be no lack. There'll be no lack. Yes. There'll be no lack. But there'll yes. be plenty, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Grab two other people. Love on them. Tell them that you're glad to see them in the house of God today. Come on, somebody shout and give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so glad to be in God's house. I want everybody, I want to hear you say something this morning. I want you to say, this is my house. 
Come on, somebody say, this is my house. Say it again. Say, this is my house. Say, this is my house. Say, but you invited today. Say, this is my house. My house. When you begin to make things personal, you see things differently. This is God's house. And in God's house, there's fullness of joy. So if you're dealing with emotions and flesh and heartaches and pains and distractions and oppressions, and that's not godly. That's not of God. That's of Satan, and Satan is lying to you. He's lying in your ears. He's telling you that, that Jesus really don't want to deliver this from you. Jesus really don't want to deliver you from you or deliver you from whatever you're dealing with in life. He wants you to go through. He's trying to teach you something through. The only thing you'll find in the Bible says the Holy Spirit is my teacher. My pain don't teach me anything except stay in the presence of God. <laughs> it teaches me to run back as fast as I can. Hallelujah. That's what it teaches me. God is so good. Hallelujah. We're just going to take a minute. We're just going to wait right here. Lord, we just love you. We honor you. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'll just take a little bit to you. Can I get a chair? Somebody give me a chair, please. And just put it right here. Lord, we give you honor. We give you glory. If I can get a high back chair where I can kind of sit up on a chair. Lord, we just take a little bit to you. Yes, yes, yes. We honor you today in the house. We honor you in the day in the house. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Lord, right now. We thank you, Lord. You know, the Spirit of God will do nothing unless he tells his people first. He doesn't want you to be on the outside looking in, wondering what's happening and what's going on. So we're just going to wait right here. Lord, we just love you. Some of the most difficult times in life is waiting. And just listening to what God is going to speak to you today. And what God wants to say to you today. Lord, we love you. We honor you. Open up our hearts, Father God, just to hear you. Open up our spirits, Father God, to touch you today. Open up our minds to be clear from any distraction, Lord Father, that we can be so focused on you, Lord Father. We don't miss a beat. We don't miss anything. And I thank you, Lord, right now that, that, Lord, you're wanting to walk among your children. I long for the day where I can come and walk among my children as I did Adam and Eve in the garden. For I say unto you this day, I want to step from heaven and walk among you. I want to step from heaven and I want to come and I want to embrace you. I want to step from heaven and I want to come and I want to saturate you with my love and with my arms wrapped around you. But I say to you this day, don't let your deceit hinder you from coming and resting in me. Don't let what the world has told you and what the lies has been spoken in your ears to keep you from coming and being in me. For I say to you this day, I won't call one without calling the rest. And I've called the rest, so that means you too. So I say, come and just set your hands in my hands and set your head in my lap and Set your ways in my ways and let my glory come and saturate the very thing that is prolonging you from coming and being with me. I say open up your eyes to see what the world has to offer and open up your spiritual eyes to see what I have to offer. For I say to you this day that when the world begins to turn downhill, which it already has, you'll come and you'll run to me and I'll protect you underneath the cleft of my right wings of the Lord. For I say unto you this day I'll provide a way but no man can provide a way. But you must realign yourself with me and my word. Don't be deceived because of one word that you don't do. You're not doing the rest of my words, and I say one word can hinder your walk with me. So I say if I put a but in the scripture, the but is there for you to listen and understand and to be attentive to my words. For I say more people today are hollering grace, grace, and grace, but they got no understanding of what my grace is. For my grace is the power to give unto thee to overcome that which is enabling thee to walk less than what I've called you to be. So I say my grace is the power 
to set you free. So you can't keep making excuses of why you're doing such things. And then all of a sudden you come and you begin to shout and decree, grace, grace, grace. For I say unto you this day, my grace is the power to set you free. But my mercy is the love that I'm showing you to give you a road to come and dine with me. Let not confusion come and overshadow thee and cause you to look away from what I'm saying and speaking to this generation. For I say this is a generation that will see a shift and a change. For I say unto you this day, listen and understand. Don't come in my presence thinking that I can't see. For I say unto you this day, I've seen it before you did it. So I say, come to me with a repentant heart and turn from your ways. And come and connect with me. For I say, for some it's harder than for others. But the same love that I've shown one, I'll show to all who wants to come and bow down on my throne. So come and be a sacrifice to the Lord, a living sacrifice. And that which you are struggling with, once and for all, come and sacrifice to me. For I say the things that I want to show you that's about to come quickly, you can't even see because you are so wrapped up in the world to be. But I say to you this day, this world is temporary and soon will pass away. But remember, in me is for an eternity. So I say you've got to come and rest in me. For I say to you this day that my spirit I left on this world to live inside of thee. And if you listen with all your heart and your intentions, I'll declare to you the things that you can't see because the spirit of me will only speak the truth of the reality. So today I'm going to ask you to put aside your agenda. I'm going to ask you to put aside the preconceived motions of what you thought today was going to be and let it be a day of restoration in me. For I say to you this day, I seen you on Friday at 11.15 p.m. sitting in a chair at your table speaking these words, nobody cares about me. And you allow the enemy to lie and deceive thee. But I want to speak this to all those that are in hearing. If nobody cares about thee, then why did I come and die on the cross for thee? And why did I shed my blood for thee? Why did I come down as a form of man and let my son come and walk among thee? Only to be beaten and scourged and put to death for a generation that would later cry out to him on the behalf of me. So I say, don't think that I don't see and I don't hear. For I say unto you this day, stay positioned for me to deliver the word that you need. Many times people will come to me and they'll speak things to me. They'll cry out to me. But as soon as I'm about to receive and release, they'll move outside of me and go on to watch their movies, to play their games, and be entertained by the world which has brought this upon them. So today, I ask you this question. Is your heart after me or only what I can give thee? For I say to you this day that if you seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. And that which you'll find is greater than any material thing this world can give unto thee. So I say to you this day, let my spirit have its way, for my spirit is what's come to manifest my glory upon this world to be. And many of my children, they run from me, says the Lord. They say they cry out of me, but when my spirit begins to manifest, they run from me. And I say to you this day, don't run from the manifestation of my spirit, because my spirit is the truth of the reality that I'm still in control in this place to be. So I say to you this day, let not your heart falter and allow the enemy to come in and cause you to stumble. But I say to you this day, let your heart be given to me. Be careful what you see because perception can cause you to think the things that you see are of me 
In reality, they are deceptive. So I say, I will not speak contrary to what I have already written in my books that was ordained for thee. Because my word is truth, and my truth is me. So today I asked you the question, will you give all your heart to me? For many people today, they come and they give me part of their hearts, but the other part they keep for themselves because if they can only stay in control, they'll be okay. But because of them trying to be in control is where the void is, and that void is me. My desire is to hold you close, and my desire is to wrap my arms around thee. My desire is to bless thee abundantly. And I say unto you this day, that in me, poverty is not a place to be except poverty in spirit. And I say that is true humility. But I say unto you this day, I have come to give unto thee and to bless thee immeasurably. So I say to you this day, let your choices be made by inviting me in and allow me to manifest. And I can take you from the place where you are and set you at the king's table and set you in royalty. Because that's what I've called you to be. So today I ask you the question, will you give all your heart to me? And will you allow me to come and to be in every situation that you have engaged in in this world? And I say unto you this day that I will show you the way. I will guide you home. I will bless everything that you touch. And everything that you touch shall prosper. But you've got to repent and turn to me. And give me all of your heart. And I say unto you this day that when this thing goes south, because it will, says the Lord, for I say unto you this day, you'll still be standing on top, declaring and decreeing, in my God, I put my trust in thee. So I say to you this day, let not your heart be troubled, that you do not be deceived. For the things that has to come will come, and you cannot stop those things to be. For I say, I am coming quickly, and these things must happen before me. So I say, don't be afraid of what you see, but use wisdom and ask me for wisdom. For I say, when the things begin to unfold, and your government that you see begins to collapse, I say unto you this day, you'll remember that it is my government that lasts for an eternity. So I say, today will you come, and will you dance with the King? Will you come and will you put your feet at my table today? Will you come and will you position yourself in me? Because before the power can be released, your position has to be in me. So I say to you this day, I didn't call you just to come to be saved. I called you to come so my power can be expressed to thee. So today, Listen to what I have to say, and let my words set upon thee. Because today, you must realign with me. You must realign with me. You must realign with me. And so today, as you come in this place, and as you stand in the presence of me, listen and understand that I am the King. You don't come here to serve a man or a building that you see. You come here to honor me and to hear the things that I have to say. So open your ears and open your heart and let me come in and realign you with me. So today as you come and as you stand and as you sacrifice to me, let my words begin to flow from heaven and bring healing upon thee. So I say, stand to your feet and honor me and come and be a sacrifice for me, said the Lord. For I say to you this day, pride I have to take because pride will keep you coming. And I say, let humility reign and let humility begin to be. So today I ask you, will you come and will you dine with me? So I say, stand in this place and lift your hands toward me. 
and surrender your will for my will and your ways for my ways. And I say, will you come and be a sacrifice for me? As Abraham took Isaac and led him upon the hill, laid him across the altar, and he looked into the thicket, and there, behold, the ram was always there. But he was looking in the wrong place. And so today I say unto you, you've been looking in the wrong place and looking for me. For when I sent my son and I laid him across and made a sacrifice of him for thee, that blood shows no partiality and flows from heaven to thee. So today I say unto you this day, those in this place, let there be true humility and come and bow to me, said the Lord. For I say to you this day, exchange your grief for my joy. Exchange your pride for my humility. Exchange your weakness for my strength. And exchange your way for my way. So I say as you come this day, and as you become a sacrifice for me, the windows of heaven are opening, and the waters are pouring out upon thee. And I say to you this day that it's bringing a refreshing to revive you and this world to be. Your dreams have come alive again and your zeal for me. And I say to you this day, that job you wanted to leave, you're going to go back now and evangelize that job to be. For this day, I am opening the windows of heaven upon thee. So I say, humble yourself before me. Bow down and surrender to me. For a day is a day of restoration and a day of restoring things to me. So, Father, we love you. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. That as we come, Father, Lord Jesus, and as we lay our lives down, I ask you, Lord Father, God, to take away the pain from the hearts of your children. Lord, take away the anxieties. Take away the hurts. Replenish, restore, revive. And as the waters open up, Lord Father God, and begins to flow, let your glory begin to descend down. And let your word saturate and become alive inside of us. So today we honor you, says the Lord. We honor you, said the Lord. For I say unto you this day, that those who humble themselves, I will exalt. But for those who refuse to humble, let pride in control their every walk. Their future is a fall. But I say to you this day, humble yourself and let me exalt you today. Humble yourself. Let me exalt you today. Humble yourself. Let me exalt you today, said the Lord. Let the windows open this day. And let your glory reign. I thank you, Lord Jesus. The word has went forth. There was a prophetic word. Everybody should have been at the altar doing as God said to do and said to be. The altar could be here. The altar could be there. But everyone should have been kneeling on your feet obeying to what God said to do. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We honor you in this house. We honor you in this house, says the Lord. We honor you. And as you come and as you sit before me and honor me, I'll honor thee, said the Lord. I'll pick you up and I'll strengthen thee. So remember this. And remember this word. For I say unto you this day that 73 days from now, something will tremendously shake this nation. So I say unto you this day, realign with me so you won't be afraid and fault and stumble before me. But you'll stand upright, you'll declare a decree, but no matter what I see, my God will still take care of me. We love you, Lord. Come on, let's give people time to just worship, getting some things together. And we'll see what the Lord wants to do from here. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are you. Everyone just love on him. See, this is a part of a church service that a lot of people get leery of. Because they don't know what's happening, they don't know what's going to happen. Before they know it, their flesh begins to kind of say, it's time to check out of here today. But don't do that because God is releasing some things in here in this atmosphere. Don't do it. God is releasing some things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to just love on him right now so he can love on you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Just begin to just begin to thank you for breakthroughs right now. Begin to thank you for breakthroughs right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you. Hallelujah. Well, go ahead and hug on somebody else real quickly. Tell them what you love them in the house today. Just hug on somebody else. Stuff makes you want to jump up and shout and do a couple flips. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, let's just pray for breakthroughs. Let's pray for breakthroughs. Come on, let's pray. Come on, to begin to pray for, intercede for your people right now. You don't have to come up here, but right, we intercede for those that are up here at the altar. They need some breakthroughs right now. They're going to pray right now for strength. Begin to pray for them right now. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Father God, for breakthroughs in spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, just somebody just begin to just give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, God is good. Jesus is awesome. And I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. The only way I'd want to be. The only way I'd want to be. Glory to God. We're just going to hang out in His presence just for a minute and navigate through what He's doing right now. Hallelujah. Who's had the issue with your right ankle? I don't know what happened to it this week or maybe last week, but it wasn't always like that. But now I just feel like it's going to snap on you when you walk. You're walking and just, there's no strength in that ankle. Who is that? Amen. Is that anybody in here? It's in your ankle. Is that anybody in here? Just raise your hand. I'm not going to actually come up here. That's you? Amen. Who's had the consecutive heartburn for the last several days that just continually just keeps coming? Who's that? Amen. Lord God, can you stand to your feet? These are words of knowledge that God has given, and it's the Spirit of God. It's not man, it's the Spirit of God. That's why it's called a word of knowledge. It's the word. What's happening? Amen. So we've got the continual heartburn. Amen. Is that just one or is that more than one? Just one. we got the ankle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're just going to just hold out just for a second. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's been getting dizzy this week for no reason, just getting dizzy, and it's your eyes are playing, I mean, your eyes are doing some crazy things to you. Who's that? 
Who's been getting dizzy this week? If you want me to lay hands on you, come up here and I'll pray for you. If not, you can. You, I'll pray for you from there. Hallelujah. We we'll just thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to start with the dizzy spells. Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you're opening up the circulatory and the respiratory systems. And that, Lord, Father God, Satan will not come in and bring fear, but we cancel out fear now. And we speak to complete healing in those areas, complete healing in the blood flow areas. We thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. It's said and done. There will be no more. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, now for the ankle. The Lord, Father God, Lord, you called us to be strengthened. And so we speak to the ankle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we plead the blood over it. That, that ankle will be strengthened. And from this day forward, there will be no more, no more losing of the strength. And, Lord, we give you glory and we give you honor. You need to go back and look at the shoes that you're wearing because some of the shoes that you're wearing are causing that ankle to lose strength. So you need to be careful about that. So, Father, we pray for this consecutive heartburn in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that even as we're speaking, you're releasing it. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Who's been having the tingling in the arms and the shoulders going down to, the, to your arms? Who's been having that, the tingling in your arms, your shoulders? Numbness here and going down to here. That's you. Who else? You and you. Amen. I want you, if you want, you want prayer, go and, go and come on up. We're, we're, just going, we're just hanging out today. Is that okay to hang out in the presence of the Lord? Is that okay? Some churches won't do this. <laughs> but you know what? We're not some churches. We're living faith. We belong to Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Come on, just, just begin to pray. There's going to be a release in the shoulder of the body. Come on, church. You intercede for these. These are, these are your brothers and sisters right here. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for the warrior. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God. And Lord, Father God, we speak to this body. We speak to this numbness in the shoulders and coming down into the arms. And Lord, we declare right now in the name of Jesus, total restoration in this body. We declare right now total movement in this body. And we plead the blood of Jesus right now over this body. Lord, this body is yours. And we lay this across the altar right now. And we thank you, Lord, right now that, Father God, that what's ever tried to ail this man, whatever's tried that's been plugged up, Father God, is being released. And this numbness is going to go and strength is going to instantly return. And, Father God, we give you glory. We give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Who, who's, dealing with the, who's dealing with the sinuses, the burning in, in the nostril? And it's just continually, it's not going away. It's a burning in your nostril. Who's that? Who's that? Is that anybody? As I'm praying, that's what I'm, that's what I'm sensing. Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. The Lord Father God, this numbness is going to, to be released. We thank you, Father God, for complete circulatory. We thank you for complete respiratory. We thank you, Father God, for complete blood flow. And, Father, we thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we plead the blood right now in Jesus' name. We plead the blood right now in the name of Jesus. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. You can't drink water and receive. You can't drink. I know what, I know what it is. I know what it is. You just need to be quiet and not, not try to drink and talk at the same time. Lord, we honor you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory, Father, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Father God. Lord, we speak a joyful attitude. We speak a joyful presence. 
we speak a joy of expectation. We speak a joy, Father God, of receiving. Lord, we come against the doubt that's came in and plagued. And subconsciously, Father God, Lord Jesus, she's been struggling and fighting. But Lord, today, Father God, you're calling her from the back 40 and putting her up on the front 40 as you did Moses. And we declare, we decree a burning bush experience for her today. In the name of Jesus, we release right now every hurt, every pain. We release right now every mental block in the name of Jesus. And we declare right now emotionally, spiritually, and physically that she becomes alive inside of you. So, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we declare fire, 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 fire to be new, fire to take control, fire to burn up that which is ailed and bring something that is new. In the name of Jesus, we declare right now the freedom of the flow of the blood of Jesus inside this body. We thank you, Father God, the numbness in the shoulders. We thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, we speak right now to this body. We just declare and decree the word of God to be free. We declare, we decree right now, this body must line up now and begin to flow prophetically how you created to flow. Father God, let every circulatory be restored. Let every respiratory be restored. Let every blood be restored, Father God, Lord Jesus, and let everything be done decently in order. So, Father, right now we declare and we decree that this tingling, this numbness in the name of Jesus is gone. And we speak right now in the name of Jesus that your glory will come right now, Father God, and just descend down upon him. And, Father God, just take him to a place so you can do surgery upon him. So, Father, this day we declare, we decree the instant manifestation of your glory to be. Father, we thank you, Lord, right now for freedom. We thank you, Father God, for freedom. We thank you, Father, for freedom. And, Father God, this day we ask you, Lord, to move on the behalf. And let that which you have brought him out of be destroyed once and for all. And let him stand in victory. So we declare healing in this body. In Jesus' name, amen. Just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. A lot of words of knowledge. Taken to a place where God can work on him. Just let him stand there and just be, be mindful of him and just be around him in case he needs some help. But glory be to God. God is so good. Amen. You know, God wants to do things. And you go, you go through the book of Acts, you see all these things that God is doing and all these healings and miracles and people being delivered and, you know, God blessing people. And you go back, you look at the Old Testament, you see that when every time the nation of Israel lined itself with God, they was always blessed. So every time we align ourselves with God, we're always going to be blessed according to the book of Ephesians. Because the book of Ephesians, God has given the power to the head of the church, which is Jesus. And he's given that to the body of the church, which is us. Amen. So we've got to make sure that we always are in a position of victory. Hallelujah. Why don't you give Jesus a round of praise for what he's done this morning? Give the Holy Spirit a round of praise because he's the one that manifested the works of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Who's got the issue with the left eye? You got an issue with your left eye. It just keeps popping. It just keeps flickering. Who's that? Your eye. Amen. That you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Stand to your feet where you are. Glory to God. God is so good. Father, touch her right now. We command that the eye quit bothering her, quit being irritation. And we thank you, Lord, now. It's said and it's done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today is a day of just God manifesting in this house. Amen. And that's all you can say. You've experienced the manifestation of the Spirit of God in this place. Amen. You know, ain't, ain't nothing goofy. Ain't nobody barking like a dog, meowing like a cat. Ain't none of that stuff going on. We cast the devil out when that begins to happen. Hallelujah. But uh, you've experienced the trueness of what God says in his word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we thank God for that. 